Hello everybody, welcome to Hollywood Sports, the most realistic and the most authentic sports channel on YouTube. Hey guys, I am the general manager slash owner for the Washington Redskins franchise. And I'm about to show you some, um, you know, some owner GM operations. Um, as you can see, our first preseason game, we got blown out by the New England Patriots, 21 to nothing. You know, I think, I don't know what was going on in that game, but we didn't play well at all. But um, let's look at developed players. We're not going to do it right now, but we're going to be upgrading some players here right before we get the season started. But we're going to go through our first uh, preseason games first. As you can see, we can uh, upgrade some guys, but we're going to get some S XP first. All right. <clears throat> we look at our team goals. You know, team passing yards, Brandon Rackpo, tackles, Alfred Morris, rushing yards. Um, we got Ryan Kerrigan, our left outside linebacker, with an overall 87, age 26, looking at his tackles. Um, so, you know, those are the those are the categories right now. We haven't built them up yet. You look at Trent Williams, his goal is 4,500. Um, as far as team passing yards and right now they're at zero so we're going to keep track of everybody's stats right here for example you see Stephen Bourne right there rated overall 81 <clears throat> right now he has no XP he's, he's our right end in our 3-4 defense and his goal is to have 45 so we're going to check those goals out on a weekly basis and see how the teams guys are playing we have our uh, we just went there. We have our uh, uh, development history, and we'll be reviewing those too. Um, as you can see, uh, uh, Deshaun Jackson right there, his experience is plus 17. Um, then you got their confidence changes and their progression recap, which we have no uh, data on these right now. Brian Arakpo, you're looking at his preseason week one, he's got 15 points um, to experience. Um, you can see the coach trait, consistency, development trait, and drill result. You know, I like the CFM, man. It's really detailed. It's really innovative. But it's active, activity results as far as scrimmage. And right now, he has a plus 15. So we're going to be reviewing those on a weekly. Well, probably, um, probably every four weeks. Maybe on a weekly basis. I'm not sure yet. Um, we look at our media statements. Um, right now, our media, uh, recent media questions, we have none, but, you know, we talk about fan happiness. Um, it needs work. Our team popularity overall is 11th. And our recent success is bad. We're 0-1 so far. And it says, following through with your responses is vital to maintaining fan, <laughs> fan happiness. So as an owner, I need to know those things. All right says my goals okay there's our owner uh, Dan Snyder it says we, we need to win 14 games uh, we'll get that legend uh, legacy award 10 uh, we can go undefeated we can get 50 legacy uh, le a legacy uh, reward points it says finish the NFL regular season unbeaten in your career right that's that's kind of hard uh, get one Super Bowl, win a Super Bowl in your career, so 100 legacy points. So these are about getting legacy points for our owner, owner uh, uh, Dan Schneider, uh, which I am the owner and uh, GM. But, you know, Dan Schneider holds me responsible for getting these points for him. We're going to be looking at those throughout the season. All right. Going a little forward, let's look at some top stories real quick. It says a report from Redskins headquarters says the team is grooming left end Javaris Jenkins to make a major impact on the team sooner than later. Um, you got uh, Jay Gruden held a full team scrimmage this afternoon, giving multiple second um, string players reps with the first team offense and defense, trying to get them some work in. And also Dan Schneider is willing to spend what it takes to win in the NFL. So we got an owner that's willing to spend a lot of money. Um, it's good to know. Uh, Mark Slaret says, uh, he talks about Jarvis Jenkins also, has been getting a lot of praise from his coaching staff this week. 
the team looks to be grooming him for a bigger role, you know. And so, yeah, so uh, that's good to know. Um, head of the Skins, uh, Mark Slareth also says, heard the Skins scrimmage for most of practice today. By far, he says, my favorite practices as a player was Broncos memories. You know, oh, of course, we know Skip Bayless, man. He talks about Dan Schneider as a lightning rod for the Redskins. And that's why he's fun to have around. And then Chris Mortensen reports that Snyder might be my favorite NFL owner. Smart guy with unparalleled passion for the game. All right. Now we're going to our GM duties. Let's look at cut day. We got to cut some players, guys. We got 74. We need to get down to 70. So like I said in our first preseason game, we're going to look at stats. Okay, let's go back for a second. Okay, as you can see in this chart, select players to cut from your roster. We need to go from 74 to 70. And right now, the lowest rating is our offensive line. And then we have our defensive line. So our line play is not doing too good as far as the rating. You know, our quarterback rating is 86. Our running back rating is 88. Our wide receiver rating is 81, I like. So our... Uh, uh, Offensive line and our defensive line are suffering. And our linebacking core is awesome. You know that. We're rated at, the linebacking core is rated at an 83. So let's look at the O-line and D-line. As far as how we're going to cut some players. Because they're not performing well right now. Alright, let's go to our left tackle, Trent Williams. Of course we're not going to cut him, man. <laughs> He's doing pretty good. Uh, we have our left guard. We have Sean uh, Lavio. Le 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 can't pronounce that. Um, he's 6'3", 315 from Arizona State. He's been with us for four years. He's our starting left guard. His backup is Josh um, Lee Ribrius. I can't pronounce this guy's name, man. He's from SMU. He's been with us for two years. And then we have Maurice Hurt. He's a C6-3 at 329 from Florida. And he's been us with three years. So uh, we need to cut three guys. Now we need to cut four guys. So let's look at the, let's look at our centers. We got three centers. We only need two. Um, and he's been with us for four years. Nick Sunberg. Sun, Sunberg. He's not all that hot. Tavita Stevens. And Corey Lysinger, you know, Corey Lysinger, he's, he, he hasn't been all that hot either, but he is our starting center. He used to play for us at guard, but he's our center now. We rotated him over. But I think we're going to get rid of Sunberg real quick. We're going to cut him. All right. We can free up $790,000 in cap room. But it says, but we will incur a penalty of $450,000. But we got we got to cut him though. We got to cut him. That's okay. That's one. All right. Let's look at the right guards. We got Chris Chester. We got Mike McGlynn. We have Spencer Long and Adam Geddes. And we do not need that many right guards. We have four. So let's cut the lowest man on the totem pole right now. His overall is only a 61. Adam Geddes been with us for two years but he let a rookie Spencer Long beat him out and, and Spencer's the overall 64 so we're gonna let Geddes go all right <clears throat> let's see where we at before we let anybody else go we got Tyler Columbus as far as right tackle we got Morgan Moses and we got T Tom Compton his overall is a 66 that's pretty low he been with us for two years from South Dakota. He's a big guy, 6'5 at 308. Um, then Morgan Moses, 6'6 at 314 from Virginia. He's a rookie from Virginia. And so he let a rookie beat him out. He's been with us for two years. He got to go. All right. Okay, we got one more guy to let go. So let's go back up top to our left tackle. Well, no, wait, let's see left guard we gotta let go of center don't we oh we got him okay let's go with the left guard um now hurt has been with us for three years 
63329 from Florida. Okay, that's the left guards. Let's look at our left tackle. Well, no, not left guard, but center. Right guard. His overall is a 64, Spencer Long. We don't need to carry three right guards. Um, and what was the left guard was a 63 overall and our right guard was a 64 overall so we go to left guard go down to hurt he's the lowest man on the totem pole he's been with us for three years he's not cutting it you gotta get cut he's causing our performance on the line to get rated pretty low all right there's our cut guys you're just watching some GM and some owner transactions going on right now. When we look at our game prep, we'll come back to that. You see, we know that we, we lost that preseason game, but you know, there's some guys on the trading block. We don't want to look at any guys right now. We're gonna we're gonna ignore. Unless they awesome, but he's only overall 72 from the Philadelphia Eagles. Vinny Curry. We're gonna ignore that one. Uh, also on the trade block is uh, Shilo Keo, overall 74, free safety. We're going to ignore it. We want to see performance from our players first before we start looking at other guys we don't even know about. So these are all the guys on the trade block we're just going to ignore right now. Another overall 78. Unless they're awesome, we'll take a look at them. This guy's overall 72, a left end from uh, Cleveland. Also on a trade block from the Detroit Lions is Deshaun Combs. Now, he used to be with our team. He used to be with Washington. He's only an overall 73 um, strong safety. So let's get rid of him. And we can advance the week. Um, let's take a look at game prep real quick. Select game prep to select game prep activities or delegate. We're going to delegate this week. All right. But before we advance the week, I want to go over here and look at finances. You see we're ranked uh, 28th overall with team six, uh, as far as teams go, team value. Uh, I won't read them all, but concessions, we're doing pretty good. We're number one. Merchandise, we're number one. And ticket prices, we're number one. So that's pretty good. But overall, we, we're, on, we're 28th in the league. That's not too good. And we look at our finance guy. He said we could increase revenue by adjusting the price of potato chips to find the sweet spot. Okay, our stadium guy says the stadium team store can be upgraded. And I do that as soon as as soon as you can. We're gonna do that. Uh, we have one of the least respected head coaches in the league, and that's hurting team value. He's our staff guy. Looking at our marketing uh, young lady here, she says the size of our market is based on our city. We can't change that without relocating. And our fan happiness um um representative she says our tickets are competitive priced and the fans love them so that's good news from my uh, fan happiness executive and our other team success executive says our team success over the long five years is pretty bad pretty bad we need to win games so they're kind of letting me know what's going on as an owner and a gym and we'll look at individually those kind of things and we'll make adjustments well, we're going to see what they look like after the preseason. Before we start the regular season, we're going to go deep into those things. You can see we're the only team in the division that lost right now. The other guys haven't played yet. Um, so uh, that's little GM, little owner operations, guys. Um, so as we advance the week, uh, we're ready to advance. <clears throat> we're going to give everybody else preseason out of the way their first game <laughs> and then we're going to go back and look at the uh, okay our next preseason game is against the Browns let's go back and look at the other team's uh, records here alright the Cowboys they tied their game the Eagles lost Man, our whole division lost. The Giants lost also their first division game, preseason standings. So they got the Cowboys in first. At least they didn't lose. They tied their game. All right? 
So in our next CFM, our Redskins franchise, we're going to go up against the uh, Cleveland Browns in our second preseason game. And I hope you guys enjoyed that information. I'm going to try to be a little bit more detailed on our ticket prices and things like that. So it's going to be a long franchise, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, until next time, everybody, thank you for watching Hollywood Sports.